Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Mac Tips and Tricks with the Apple Tutor. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to permanently delete files or folders without having to empty the trash. Why might this be useful, you may ask? A lot of users tend to drag a lot of resources into the trash, but are hesitant to empty the trash, as there could be some things you may still need. However, there may be individual files in there that you may want to get rid of. We can work a way around this through a couple of different methods. Go ahead and open up Terminal. Let's go ahead and get a clear window. I want to get a file to delete. So let's go ahead and navigate to your directory. I'm going to go and navigate to CD Desktop, which is my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and create a small file here. It's called this file.txt, a text file. You will see it appear in my desktop. There it is. Type in rm space hyphen r and then drag the file you wish to delete. Hit enter and you will notice that it's now been deleted. If we go into the thrash we won't be able to see that file. It has bypassed the thrash. This method is great but it may prevent you from deleting a file if there is an error. If you want to delete a file without having to worry about an error type in rm space hyphen rf and drag the file hit enter and it would be deleted the hyphen rf command just basically force deletes the file so it doesn't take into account any errors if you want added security type in rm space hyphen capital p this will overwrite regular files before deleting them now of course you want to drag the file into terminal, hit enter, it deletes it. If you hate using terminal, there is another method we can use. Close terminal and open up automator. We can create an automator application that performs the command for us. So let's go ahead and click on a new application. Now the application would automatically receive files and folders as input. To be secure, let's add a step to the workflow that will ask for confirmation before executing the command. It should be right here where it says ask for confirmation. Let's drag that to the workflow. Let's enter our message. We can say, are you sure you want to delete this file permanently? All right, that should be fine. Now you want to go ahead and drag the run shell script into the workflow. Now make sure you pass input as arguments and right here everything is fine we just have to edit this bit where it says echo just type in rm space hyphen rf and we're done. Let's save this. Optionally you could drag it to the dock so that you can easily drag files into the application to have them deleted. Let's see if this works. I have the file.txt file right here drag it into the application are you sure you want to de delete this file permanently? Click on OK, and there we go. It's deleted. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial, and I do hope to catch you in the next episode of the Apple Tutor. Cheers.